This is going to be a short video on the Home Patrol 1. Um, it's kind of my impression, my take of it. I've had it now for about four years, I guess. It's a awesome scanner. It does an excellent job at decoding P25. Right now I'm currently listening to the star system in Virginia. There's a lot of agencies on that system. My antenna, I guess, is up about 40 foot. It's on top of a 30-foot um, tower with a... I got a little 10-foot piece of pipe on top of the tower. I'm using the Scantana ST2. It's the, the best antenna that I've found for my particular area that does, a, does about the best job. I've, you know, used other disc cones and just other other things, but the Scantana does the absolute best job. I do have a mast-mounted preamp, so the cable comes here, it runs out, and goes into the preamp at the back of my desk, and then runs out. I do use a very large cable. I'm using what's called Heliax, and it's a half-inch cable. It's, um... You have to have the best cable. You can't have, um, this is not Heliax. This is just a simple RG6 jumper that goes from the scanner to the, um, the preamp. And then from the preamp, it goes from there to the Heliax. I'll see if I can get you, a, show you a picture of that. This is the Heliax. You'll see it comes up, runs, goes into the preamp. It's a ginormous cable, but it's um, quite expensive. I got that at a ham fest. I got a big roll of it for a good price. Some of the features of the Home Patrol I wanted to show you. This is the Extreme model. So you can go in and edit systems, site information. You can analyze a system if you want to see... If you want to see, um, you know, signal strength, how well it's decoding. It'll show you the signal. If you're working on an antenna, this is great. Because you can make modifications, little tweaks, move your antenna up and down, turn it, whatever. And it'll show you the effects of what you did just did right here on the screen. This is the signal. This is the quality of the decode. And this is, if there's any activity, this is this will go up that says there's actually activity, apparently, on that particular site. It'll do an LCN monitor. If you have an EDAC system, you can do an activity log. It'll do a ton of different things. One thing I wanted to show you is editing a system. The Home Patrol is set for 30 miles. I know you can go in and change certain other things and change it from a circle to a rectangle, you know, if you need a particular tower. The easiest way that I've found is to go in and edit the particular site that you want to listen to. And if you can receive the control channel on that site, chances are you, can, you shouldn't have any problem. But, for instance, this one... I would set location, leave this alone, click next, and then you can change it. See, I've got mine changed to 200 miles, and that way I receive that particular site when the home patrol is only set for a 30 mile radius. The home patrol does an excellent job. I had a 996 XT. The Home Patrol received more of the conversation than the 996 did. I would miss pieces of the conversation. Using the exact same towers, same systems, same antenna. So I sold the 996 and kept the Home Patrol 1. I will be upgrading to the, the Home Patrol version 2, maybe at the beginning of the year or something. I'm not in a big hurry. There's not a... Um, a P25 Phase 2 system in my area at the time, so I really don't need the uh, Phase 2 right now. But this is just my little short video. I wanted to show you how to edit the um, the sites and change the mileage. Of course, you, you can't edit it in the Home Patrol unless you have the Extreme model, because edit, all this stuff will be blacked out. 
it'll be grayed out but you can edit it in the software in Centennial you can edit particular systems and change the mileage but that's my little short video post your comments below I'll be posting a lot more videos about numerous things ham radio I'm gonna do some some videos on some uh, radio equipment I have of Kenwood 450 I'm gonna be doing that soon and some CW stuff and I've got all kinds of cool videos so I'd love to have you subscribe thank you have a great day